Have you ever wondered why is healthy eating so restrictive and boring? Raise your hand if you're not excited about broccoli and chicken breast. And if you'd much rather have fun foods that are addictive and taste so good, only to, to find yourself feeling bloated, guilty, and craving more junk food? Well, that was me once too, feeling confused on where to begin and why I can't stick to the diet plan and follow through. Since then, I studied nutrition science and became a dietitian because I love to eat good food. I wanted to solve my health and digestion issues and to figure out how I can play this food game on my terms. Imagine a 15-year-old girl diagnosed with an inflammatory gut condition. That day, I came home, and as I sat down in front of a bunch of medication, and I tried to memorize the protocol, which pill I was supposed to take on an empty stomach, what's after food, and what tinctures to take before bed, I burst into tears. That was the moment I realized I had more medication than my grandmother did. As a young teenager, I internalized a lot of that stress. I felt sick and hopeless. Also, because at that age, I was diagnosed with progressive myopia. It's a type of nearsightedness disease that led me to lose eyesight over the years. Due to this health condition, I was not allowed to participate in sports. So I excelled at science and math. And when I moved, and when I turned 19, I moved to America, where I ended up working on Wall Street. Eventually, so imagine a 19-year-old girl moving to the United States all alone, barely speaking English, not knowing anyone or anything, with a couple of hundred dollars in my pocket and just one big dream, the American dream. Eventually, I ended up working in the competitive finance and banking field. On the outside, very successful, but on the inside, I struggled big time. Working hard on my American dream came with a lot of stress. Lack of sleep, demanding schedule, deadlines, anxieties, all of that affected my health. I gained weight, and then I lost weight, only to gain it back. My skin would react with acne and eczema. I tried to work out every day, only to find myself feeling bloated with sugar cravings and coffee addiction. I struggled with body image. I thought I need to be skinny to fit into the society. And then one day I was about to give up. I thought I'm doing so much. How come I still feel like I'm spinning my wheels? Something was missing. I went to every doctor, dermatologist, and alternative medicine practitioners. I spent my salary on creams, treatments, and supplements. Everyone would give me different advice. That's what, that was the moment I realized that the food that I was eating might be the issue. So I tried every diet. I thought being vegan was the real truth. And then I studied yoga and thought the Ayurvedic diet could solve my issues. Then there was a trendy macrobiotic diet, paleo and keto diets promoted by famous doctors. All of that information confused me even more. And then, I met a dietitian that changed my life by changing my relationship with food. As I started to look at food as my medicine, this mindset helped me to fall in love with the foods that loved me back, to solve those nagging health issues for me. Instead of restricting my food intake, I turned my attention to the abundance of foods that my body needed due to its unique bioindividuality. Um, this approach transformed my life so much that after studying nutrition, health, and uh, food science, I became a dietitian that changes people's lives by changing their, what's on their plate. My job is to translate nutrition science into a practical advice. 
And that's exactly what I want to bring you today, that in the next 10 minutes, I'm going to attempt to make you fall in love with the top five nutrient-dense foods that have the potential to change the way you feel and that I believe everyone should know about and should be able to incorporate into their daily busy lifestyle. You are what you eat. You heard this oversimplified statement before, and it's actually true. However, there's a lot of processes that go on from the moment you take a bite of your favorite piece of cake and you enjoy the taste of it in your mouth until you see it in the toilet bowl again. After you swallow your food, it hits the stomach. From there, it ends up in your intestines for the next 18 to 24 hours, where magic happens. This piece of cake, at this point, is no longer a cake. It's more of a chime that has the potential to contribute to your gut microbiome. Microbiome is your inner garden made of diverse life gut bacteria. Everything you eat gets fermented, digested, broken down into nutrients, and then absorbed into your bloodstream to create neurotransmitters and hormones which affect the way you feel. Did you know that our mood and our feelings are affected by a healthy gut microbiome inside our intestines? Well, you heard about serotonin. It's the happy hormone responsible for our sense of well-being. 95% of serotonin is produced by the gut microbiome. And the research shows that those who struggle with depression and anxiety and have low levels of serotonin, they also have digestive issues, cramps, and irritable bowel syndrome. So the question is, what do we need to eat to improve our levels of serotonin to give us the energy and excitement? Number one, nutrition recommendations are green leafy vegetables every day. Kale, spinach, arugula, Swiss chard, broccoli, and bok choy. They're high in folate and an incredible bioactive compound called sulforaphane which helps to lower inflammation, helps your liver to detoxify, and the fiber from green leaf vegetables supports the digestive health. Fiber forms the bulk in our intestine, which massages your gut from inside out, keeps you regular, helps to absorb the bad cholesterol and toxins, and ushering it out of your body for you to glow like a superstar. Fiber also serves as a prebiotic for the gut-friendly bacteria to multiply and outgrow the bad guys. Fiber definitely loves your gut, and that's why you should love it too. You can add spinach to your green smoothies, choose a green salad for lunch, and if you're thinking what's for dinner, it's so easy to saute a bok choy or asparagus with a little bit of garlic and olive oil, and voila, a free food, as they call it in the nutrition world, because it's close to zero calories. Now that we took care of the serotonin, we need to deal with stress and cortisol. Remember that piece of cake from earlier? Well, sugar affects your microbiome by feeding the bad bacteria. And when it's mixed with mindless eating and stress, it creates chaos in your gut called dysbiosis, which lowers your immune system, affects the skin glow, and it causes the yeast overgrowth which makes us feel bloated and fatigued after eating. And stress takes no days off these days. It's become the normal part of our life, and our body is designed to deal with it. However, it becomes negative when we're facing continuous challenges without relief and relaxation. And the tension builds up, leading to migraines. And then it starts to affect our body internally by damaging metabolism and digestion. The negative emotions raise fight or flight hormones such as adrenaline and cortisol, causing us to feel fuller quicker or even nauseous or lose appetite. And it also inhibits the enzymes and bile secretion. The neuroscience has shown a strong relationship between improved mental health and the healthy balance of bacteria inside our gut with our food's ability to improve our gut health and therefore the way we feel. And if you're too busy to think about the not-so-glamorous microbes inside our gut, just remember this one thing. 
If you want to offset the daily damages of stress, make antioxidants your best friends. They are remarkably beneficial for your body, brain, and healthy DNA expression. There are different types called flavonoids, polyphenols, vitamins. They are responsible for the bright color of fruits, berries, and vegetables. Here's how to recognize a high antioxidant food. The brighter the color, the more health benefits it has. Therefore, if it has the potential to stain your clothes, then that's the one you should go for. My favorite are wild blueberries, pomegranates, cherries, cranberries, and grapefruits. You can add them to your breakfast or choose them as a snack or healthy dessert. And because these beneficial phytonutrients are water soluble, they get cleared from the body quickly. And that's why it's essential for us to have them on a daily basis. So here's your mantra. Eat berries like it's your job. And yes, dark chocolate too. But remember, the darker the color, the better. Our gut has been referred to as the second brain because it has five times as many neurons as the spinal cord. A gut-brain axis is a form of communication between our gut and our brain, which is responsible for our mental function and our feelings. And this communication is at its best when we activate the vagus nerve, which is responsible for rest and digest mode of our nervous system. And here's the quick and efficient way to improve your second brain function. Take three deep breaths before eating. Let me help you in, to improve your gut-brain connection. I invite you to close your eyes and take a deep breath in. And slow exhale. Feel your heart beating. Another deep breath in. And slow exhale, slower than the one before. Last breath in. And slow exhale. Notice your heart rate slowing down. That's your heart rate variability. The slower it is, the stronger your vagal tone. And the better you feel because it sends the signal to your brain that you're safe to rest, to digest, to absorb, to thrive, and you may notice that you start to salivate. And to improve your gut health, include probiotic-rich foods into your diet. They're, they're live, gut-friendly bacteria from fermented vegetables that help us to absorb the nutrients from those hard-to-digest foods. They prevent autoimmune conditions, they improve immune system, and even help to prevent allergies. And instead of buying more supplements, I say eat probiotic-rich foods. My favorites are kimchi, sauerkraut, pickled cucumbers, plain yogurt, and unflavored kombucha. You can add sauerkraut to your eggs as a side dish or as a topping to your salad or condiment for dinner and grab a pickle or yogurt for a savory snack to support the diversity of microbes in your gut. The diversity of gut-friendly microbes matters because it helps to improve the immune system and it helps to support our emotions. Statistics show that 99% of people suffer from emotional overeating these days. And for different reasons, whether it's overindulgence from the joy of celebration, like on Thanksgiving, or it's mindless eating or eating on the go while watching TV or multitasking. Taking those three deep breaths and focusing on slow exhales can help you to create the pause to bring more mindfulness and self-awareness and to set an intention. Because every time you lift the fork, you're either improving your health or you're missing out on an opportunity to feel like a rock star. And to improve your brain health, fall in love with the healthy fats, specifically omega-3 fatty acids. They are essential fats because our body cannot make it on our own and they help to support your brain power and scientifically shown to be beneficial for prevention of depression and cognitive decline. They also support your eye health, and the best food sources are salmon, mackerel, anchovies, and sardines. 
for those of us, the busy people, you can get them in canned form and combine it with some spinach and avocado for a balanced lunch. The healthy fats and proteins from fish that keeps, uh, helps you to stay lean and satiated without dieting. And if you're traveling, pack a can of sardines or salmon jerky for a savory snack. Lastly, longevity studies performed by National Geographic researchers showed that those who live above 100 years old, they use herbs and spices as medicine in small amounts, but every day. They add a ton of flavor to your food without adding any calories. So that's another reason to love them. Uh, ginger and turmeric, those are great to combine with milk to make a golden latte. And garlic and oregano are traditionally used and praised for its antimicrobial uh, uh, properties to prevent infections. Parsley, dill, cilantro, thyme, and rosemary. In Greece, they use them to sprinkle on top of cooked dishes and even fresh salads to give it a punch of flavor. Clove and cinnamon, sprinkle it on your yogurt or an apple for a snack. And here's the secret ingredient that I recommend adding to every meal. Focus on restoring the loving relationship between you and your nourishment for a sustainably healthy lifestyle that you can pass on to the next generations. Because love is the energy of life and it is a key to longevity. Remembering to include these top five nutrient-dense foods and avoiding excessive intake of sugar, alcohol, and caffeine can help you to offset the daily struggles of managing a busy lifestyle with delicious and easy, healthy eating habits. So, which one of these nutrient-dense foods are you going to treat your hardworking self today to make you more resilient, to make you glow from within, and to help you achieve all of your ambitious dreams in a healthy and more sustainable way. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.